Ah, like Pupuki, or Pupuki Moana, the overflowing lake, a lake in the heart of No Shu. The story of this lake goes back over 190,000 years, when a volcanic eruption created a giant hole from its eruption. When the eruption ended, the fresh water from the scoria rocks, as well as the rainwater, formed this lake. This lake is connected to the nearby sea by cracks in the lava rocks, and the distance between this lake and the nearest body of seawater is only a couple of kilometers away. According to Maori myths, a family of giants, also known as the Tupua, used to live in where Pupuke Moana is now, until one day they insulted the fire goddess Mauika. Mataoe, a god of eruptions and earthquakes, on behalf of Mauika, tore a hole where the lake is now, and he threw that bit of land into the sea, creating Rangitoto Island, and that hole is now where Pupuki Moana, the lake is. The mists we see in the early mornings around the harbour near the islands are believed to be the tears of the Tupua regarding their former home. The Maori used this lake as a source of fresh water as well as for eeling. Te Kawearu Amaki tribe would have made great use of the waters here. In 1843, the lake as well as the area surrounding it were sold off to the crown by the Nati Paoa Maori. Soon after, the Europeans established strawberry farms dairy farms as well as other small farms near the lake. The lake also became a popular sport as a resort for visitors who enjoyed swimming, boating as well as picnicking on the riverside. Well, the lakeside, I guess. During this time, black swans were introduced to the lake and they still thrive in the lake today. In fact, they have become rather iconic around the lake as the symbol for the lake and some of the surrounding areas taking on the swans as their symbols. In 1894, a freshwater pump station was built to supply fresh water to the near town of Devonport. This was quickly replaced by a second pump house in 1906, when the first pump house was deemed insufficient for the amount of population. However, due to the rapid growth of the population on the North Shore, there were many news articles as early as 1920 that discussed how the lake would not be big enough to supply enough water for all of the North Shore. Then after a couple of times where people had mud literally pumped through to their houses due to the lake running so low, as well as the low level of water quality, due to the introduction of trout for recreational fishing in the lake. The pump house was shut down in 1944, when the entirety of Auckland switched over to the water sources in Waitakere Ranges instead of pumping from the lake. The old tangy pump that used to occupy the second lighthouse, however, lives at Motat and has been restored to its former glory. The second pump house is now a heritage building, the first pump house is long gone, and it houses the Pump House Theatre, a community theatre that hosts various events and performances. The green building next to it was the old electric motor housing uh, that was introduced in 1927, however it now serves as a cafe for visitors. The lake is also a popular spot for water sports, such as diving, sailing, kayaking, windsurfing, and much more. One of the best things about living near here is that we have these wonderful water-wise centers and I don't know about where you live but in New Zealand it's part of the curriculum for students to learn how to behave in the water, you know, how to swim, how to flip a capsized boat, kayak, <clears throat> just water safety stuff and this place is dark in this building right here 
is a Milford School water Y Centre that's attached to the Milford School. And I love the fact that, you know, as a person that grew up here, that I had the opportunity to go in here and enjoy their WaterWise program. I mean, just look at those swans. Lake Popuki is surrounded by several parks that offer scenic views now and offers excellent recreational activities. Some of them are Kelleney Park, Henderson Park, Sylvan Park, Kitchener Park, and Quarry Lake Le Reserve. Hey, it's Kelani Park, home of the pump house on the dock. So, nice old dock. Um, it's a great place to go for a swim, start your dive. There's a rope you can follow, there's a car an umpire seat and a toilet somewhere about that way that way it's a bit muddy usually especially if it's been raining but it's not too bad Ooh, some people play on the swings Lake Pupke is also the home to North Shore Hospital which, if you're lucky enough to be uh, put in one of the good rooms up there and have a hell of a view while you stay here. Or go to Milford School or Carmel College, you might be able to get some good views of the lake as well. There used to be some other old historical buildings such as the fire station that was built in 1929 that have gone the way of the MOA and have since disappeared. Lake Pupuki is a natural and cultural treasure and a reminder of the volcanic history of Auckland. It is a place of beauty, recreation and inspiration for many people. Thank you for watching my video on Lake Pupuki. I hope you enjoyed it yourself and have a great one. I will see you again later with another video. Oh, and subscribe, like, and you know, all that stuff. Leave me a comment. What, what area in Auckland or New Zealand would you like to see next?